Welcome to another beautiful tour uh, at night time in Jerusalem. This time we will we will walk through from the West Mall Plaza via the Muslim Quarter to some of the stations of the Via Dolorosa, and I will explain about it soon, uh, which are outside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the place that Jesus was crucified, died and buried, and of course resurrected. Uh, I'm doing it, I did it so many times at daytime, but now we will do that at nighttime, which is different and beautiful. Actually, every time it's beautiful. It's beautiful because it's more mystic. It's beautiful because the shops are closed. It's beautiful because there are less tourists, although now because of coronavirus there are no tourists at all. It's beautiful because it's beautiful. Then we are living there. Western Wall. To go into the Western Wall, they usually check you and your bags. You have to go through a scanner. But we are leaving the Western Wall. Then don't need to do that. And welcome. Welcome to the Welcome to the Muslim quarter. Oh, look at that. That's for the cats. And look how beautiful it is. Oh, look at that car. Excellent car for that kind of places. If we will continue straight ahead, we will reach the um, Damascus Gate. And look how beautiful is the streets, especially when there are no tourists and no uh, shops. That was the cotton market. Still cars in the city. Horrible thing. But people live here. This is still not the Via Dolorosa. Let me explain you about the Via Dolorosa right now. Uh, and when we reach there, uh, we will talk about what's happened there. Via Dolorosa. If I'm saying that those words and you know what I'm talking about, you might be Catholic. Um, at the 14th century, the Franciscans came to Jerusalem and, and they looked for evidence for the way of the cross, the misery way. <laughs> it knows me as a tour guide and he asked me what I'm doing here at that hour. And I said, I have nothing else to do. No, no tourist in the trial. And the only thing that's left for me to do is to prepare videos for you. Then, videos. Uh, Via de la Rosa. The way of the misery, the way of the cross, the way of the sorrow is the way that Jesus walked with the cross from the judgment place after he judged by the Romans and not by the Jews and found guilty. And he had to carry his cross with him to the crucifixion place. There is another entrance to the Haram uh, al-Sharif uh, at, at the Dome of the Rock, but only Muslims can enter through here. And those are three soldiers that are supposed to stop me from entering uh, the place. Then, 
the Bible mentions a few things that happened to Jesus. He carried the cross, they used to laugh at me, at him. Uh, Simon helped him to carry the cross when he felt dizzy. And, uh, and of course, the crucifixion itself and the tomb as well. The Franciscans added a few more stations, a few more places uh, to the Via della Rosa. And when I'm walking with non-Catholic, uh, they usually stop me and say, Tzachi, when? Where can you see in the Bible that he fell three times? Where can you see the story of St. Veronica? Or where can you see that he met his mother on the way? You cannot. But they actually added a few stories that at that time, ancient time, were well known. What they wanted us to feel is the misery of uh, Jesus and the misery of the Holy Mother, Mary. <laughs> we are reaching the third station and we will start from that station, that story. But before that, you see the word Basti? Here it is. Then when you reach the third station, stop here to buy and to eat. Because they have excellent food and sadly it's now closed. Hey, I'm talking about your restaurant for the future tourist. <laughs> Inshallah one day. I showed them the Basti sign. They know it's next to the third station. And those are the two brothers. No sisters. <laughs> Those are the sisters <laughs> that actually hold that place. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You know, it's suffering, you know. We see Jerusalem without tools, it's like fish without water. Really. Rio de Rosa is no... That's true, but you know what? Good days will come again. Inshallah, we pray. Inshallah, yes. As much as possible. I'm... 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 <laughs> it won't help me, I'm fat. I said uh, they wanted to, me to drink something. I said, all right, and diet something. And he said, but yeah, a little bit too fat. It's true. But that is the way to the first and the station, uh, first and second station of the Via del Rosa. Here, it's the entrance to the Austrian hospice. Uh, and if you will climb to the roof, and the roof is... Shukran, yes, please. Shukran. Toda. Yeah, the taste of life. Sprite from Basti. Cannot see it? It's, uh, I have to climb two st stories, actually three stories, but you can use the lift elevator. And you will see an amazing view of the city. Those are two soldiers who are keeping that nothing will happen to us. Shukran, I'm on to the and I um, hope that one day it will be crowded again because they have excellent food and if you are talking about food if you want to eat food inside a church then alright I will talk about it soon. here at the third station and the fourth station those two stations are not mentioned in the Bible gosh it's so good I'm talking about your drink. Then here you can see the third station. Belongs to the Armenian Catholic Church. Uh, that's where Jesus fell for the first time. You will recognize the Via della Rosa station by the Grand Lake. Here, there, and the number will be on it. And next to it, you will see the image of what's happened here. Here, he met his mother. It's not in the Bible fourth station and inside the fourth station there's a wonderful Armenian um, restaurant as good as the Basti both of them are very good now about falling if you're watching my videos then you know that from time to time I'm falling without any reason uh, if you're not if that's the first video that you're watching then subscribe my channel because I have so many videos like that 
uh, not only by tourism, all over the Holy Land. Then he would charge. He didn't drink like I'm drinking now, Sprite, advertising for Coca-Cola. Um, um, he knew that he is going to be crucified. He have he is carrying his cross. They are laughing at him. Then happy he wasn't. Can he fall? Of course he can. I'm falling without a reason at least once a day. And I'm sure a lot of you are doing it too. It's happened to you too. About the mother. A Jewish mother will be always next to her child. She will make his life misery, but she will be with him until the end. Then although the Bible never mentioned Mary walking uh, next to Jesus on the way to the crucifixion, she was there for sure. Then this is the fourth station. We are heading, you know, well, let me take a picture of it. I forgot to do that. I'm taking a picture of the city because it's beautiful and because it's nighttime and I love to watch those pictures. Oh, it's a taste of life. I'm getting nothing from Coca Cola. That's what they gave me to drink. The next station will be the fifth one. That station is mentioned in the Bible. That's where Saint Simon helped Jesus to carry the cross. Jesus felt dizzy. He had so many reasons to feel dizzy. To feel dizzy. You see the fifth station and the name Via della Rosa, which is the picture to take as well. He felt dizzy, and the Romans couldn't help him, but the Romans could force someone help. And they forced Simon, a Jew from um, Libya of today. What a Jew from Libya of today is doing in the city. Now, Jesus and him came to Jerusalem because God told the Jews to be in Jerusalem three times a year. Passover is one of them. Shavuot is the second one. And Sukkot, the third one. <coughs> Jesus didn't visit the city at Easter time. You are visiting the city because what's happened to Jesus and that became to be Easter um, but Jesus came for Passover the same thing is for um, Simon he had Jesus to carry his cross and not because he wanted it because the Romans forced him to do that that stunt might be the place that Jesus was standing I couldn't move I felt dizzy then, according to so many, this is the handprint of Jesus. True or not, it doesn't matter. What is important is the, uh, the um, tradition and the energy that that stone's got. Let's climb up. If you hear me drinking, sorry, but uh, I need it. looks like I'm the only one here actually we are the only one here because I'm doing those videos for you remember that salesman asking what are you doing here I have nothing else to do and the best way the best thing to do for me is to show you the Holy Land day and night lately I've been asked by some of you to prepare long videos of Jerusalem and I'm doing it as well. Some of you ask me to do something else for myself. I do have a link in my description that's called buy me a coffee because I'm not working for more than one and a half year and the government doesn't help me. I'm, uh, I agree to do that and if you want to buy me a coffee and help me buy that go into that link 
I changed it into books because I'm a book. I'm a, the man of the books. I love books. I'm reading it almost every night. And you can donate me something and I will be able to uh, produce those videos. And uh, I will be more than happy to to actually to give you whatever you will ask. If you want me to pray for you in one of the places in Jerusalem, if you want me to light the candles for you uh, in one of uh, the churches, I will do it happily. I'm doing it a lot. You don't need to buy me a coffee for that. Uh, you can just ask me to do that and I will do that. We reached the sixth station and the sixth station, for me, it's one of the most important stations or stories. 14 stations, 14 stories, uh, outside the church. Mainly because St. Veronica was standing here. St. Veronica is not part of the Bible. But it's still a beautiful place, a beautiful story, which makes me happy. She was standing right here, watching Jesus climbing up with a cross. Uh, St. Simon is already helping him. But he was sweating and tell me, and let me tell you something, I'm sweating too. It's cool, the weather is amazing, it's July 2021, uh, it's breezy, uh, but it's still humid and I'm sweating a little bit. Don't worry, in about an hour I will take a shower and I will go straight to bed, happy, 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 and satisfied. And she asked herself, what should I do to make him happier? She took a veil and cleaned his face. The veil, uh, the veil is at the Vatican, and once you hear, the Pope goes out with it and show it to the disciples. But why it's so important for me? Think about Veronica. She's standing here. She is actually watching Jesus. And Jesus was surrounded with Roman soldiers. If she will clean his face, they might, might crucify her too. She is betraying uh, the Roman regime. Then in that case, she took a chance. In those 14 stations, no one helped Jesus except of her. Um, remember, St. Simon helped Jesus. But he was, he was forced to help Jesus himself. That chapel belongs to the Greek Catholic, the Malachite church, which is, we are talking about Greek Orthodox that converted to Catholic in the eight, late 18th century. And let's climb up. We're climbing up to the seventh st station. Seventh station is where it fell for the second time. We already know that it fell three times, not mentioned in the Bible. But that was already outside the city. Today, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is at the center of the city. And we know that Jesus was crucified outside the city. But the city of today is not the city of 2,000 years ago. Remember, the walls of Jerusalem is only from the 16th century. But let me tell you that there are two options for the tomb of Jesus in Jerusalem. One of them is called the Garden Tomb, and it's outside the walls. Via the Brother Street. You can see where we came from. And this is the seventh station of the cross.
Here is where we believe that he left the city. This is one of the options. And that is already house of the city. Today, it's the main street of the city. Oh, let's go to the 8th station. They're renovating now the street. Uh, Mainly because there are no tourists. You see, all the stairs will be like that. This is the eighth station. And I will talk about it. Later on, because it's a little bit noisy. That's where the women of Jerusalem saw Jesus and wept. It's mentioned in the Bible. We are going back to the seventh station, and we will turn this time to the right. Usually, it's the crowdiest street in Jerusalem every day. Not only by tourists, by local people. Mm. Sorry. The rest of the stations, nine, he fell for the third time, ten, they stripped him from his clothes, eleven, they nail him to the cross, twelve, mm, he was crucified, thirteen, the Pieta, the mother of Jesus. Mary is actually holding um, the body of Christ, of Jesus. And the 14th one is the tomb itself. Those places are inside the church of the Holy Sepulchre. And the church is closed. It's open from around 5 a.m. to 7 p.m., uh, 1900 hours. We are at 23rd hours. It's late, almost midnight. But look how beautiful is the street. But I will take you until the end of the entrance to the church. The doors are usually closed. The door is closed, but I will show you where is the entrance. That is the center of the city. The form. Here's the door. Holy sepulchre. There are two entrances. There's another one from the other side. But it's closed now. Let me take you back to Jaffa Gate. 
and there are so many things to see on the way that if it's more than enough for you because it's already 25 minutes then it's okay don't forget to subscribe my channel and you will find in the description more links to how to reach me and more details about Jerusalem uh, we will go to the center the rest can continue with me it will take you another 10 minutes the city depends on tourist and suddenly there's no tourist if you reach that that path please write me something on youtube and if you can send that video and other videos of mine to all your for all of your friends look up here where it is This is the Moristan, which is another word to the ho to hospital. It used to be part of the hospitalers, the crusaders. Amazing. The Church of Redeemer, Lutheran Church, with I think the most amazing view from the rooftop. Shisha, Nargila. Here, the Panorami Golden City restaurant. It's quite a very, it's quite a good one. They're very good with tourists. And if you will eat there, you will stay alive. And at the roof, you will be able to enjoy an amazing view of Jerusalem. In front of you is John the Baptist Church. It used to be, it's still one of the oldest churches in uh, Jerusalem. And according to what we believe, one of the bonds from his head is in that church, a relic of it. I, I turn right, but you could, could continue to there, to the right, at the left part of the church, and reach Jaffa Gate. I'm just doing it this time because I felt like doing it. The city was built with a local stone, the limestone. And that's why all the houses of modern Jerusalem will be built or cover themselves with limestone. Christian Quarter Street Road, so empty. But now it's empty because of, of it's quite late, but it's empty because there are no tourists. That's the entrance of John the Baptist. You can see his head there. That's the entrance to the church. If you climb up through those stairs, you will reach the ceramic part of the city and the Armenian quarter and a beautiful church, St. Mark Church. We are turning right and climbing up through the Jaffa Gate.
Traffic gate is very important uh, gate for so many of us because it will reach most of uh, the hotels in Jerusalem and it's the way to Jaffa Tel Aviv. Tower of David, it's a wrong name to the fortress of King Herod. He built his fortress here and later and uh, behind it uh, is palace mainly because it's the highest place of the city there's so many things to see in the city uh, to take a one day tour it's not enough in a few, few days for the whole city and the uh, sites around it. There are million things to see. And I'm trying to show you it with those videos. I won't talk about Jaffa Gate because I did videos on it. Go into my channel, Zahi Shaked, uh, and you will find just right there Jaffa Gate, and you will find it. Beautiful. We are living in our city. I will show you the walls at night time. It's absolutely a beautiful thing to see you can see part of it now but it's not the, it's not all of it then please wait look up here for it is Done. That's for tonight. See you in my next video. Don't forget to ask me whatever you want. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you can, send that link to your friend that you know that loves those kind of tools. I will be happy to be part of your family. See you. Bye bye.